Hi there, I'm Julie Sanford, and I'm gonna share with you my top three tips for using the jeweler saw. The first tip is that you have to be the proper height at your bench pin. So I've got the bench pin here, and the proper height is gonna be coming in right kind of chest level. And if you're a little too high, then you're stooping over too much, and you can't really see the position of your saw frame. So we need to be there. My feet are flat on the floor. My posture is very straight. The second tip kind of goes along with that. So I wanna make sure my posture is straight because I wanna make sure that my saw frame is straight. My saw frame should be going up and down very straight like this, not drifting out to the side, not drifting front to back. If it's drifting this way or this way, then that's gonna break your saw blade every time you try to turn a corner. The third tip is not to put too much forward pressure on. So I'm gonna start cutting this piece here and I want you to listen very carefully. I'm gonna cut it at a nice um, pressure on the saw blade and then I'm gonna put too much pressure on and you'll be able to hear the difference. And then you'll be able to kind of self critique at your own, at your own bench so you can hear what's going on. So this is, this is a nice easy pressure. I've got a little bit of forward pressure on, just enough to keep it up against the metal, but I'm not pushing hard. Now listen to the change when I start putting too much pressure. That's causing my piece to jump around, it's causing my saw blade to just kind of make a really choppy line, and it could make my saw blade break. So just a nice, easy, forward pressure. And just listen, you'll be able to hear if you're doing it wrong. If you're interested in making a box pendant like this, check out the link to the workshop below in the description. Thanks for watching.